The committee will come to order. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare recesses of the committee at any time. Welcome to today's hearing entitled, An Overview of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Budget Proposal for Fiscal Year of 2025. I now recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. Good morning and welcome to our hearing on NOAA's budget proposal for the fiscal year of 2025. I'd like to welcome the Undersecretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere and NOAA Administrator Dr. Rick Spinrad is our sole witness this morning to discuss the President's proposed budget for the agency. Thank you for coming. This conversation comes at an especially difficult time for our economy. People across our country are struggling to pay more for just about everything. Since President Biden was inaugurated in January of 21, the food price index has increased by 21 percent and the energy price index has increased by 41 percent. Rising costs are unchecked. Additionally, federal spending is at a record high while the increasing national debt is projected to slow economic growth and suppress the growth of Americans' household income over time. All of that to say, any talks around budget and spending, even at an agency like NOAA, warrant careful consideration and calculated decisions. The President has requested $6.5 billion for NOAA's FY25 budget. This would be a $242 million increase from the total appropriations that NOAA received in FY24. It's worth noting that NOAA received an additional $2.6 billion in discretionary appropriations from the infrastructure law, which remains available until 2027. NOAA also received a one-time influxes of $3.3 billion in the Inflation Reduction Act and over $500 million in the FY23 Disaster Supplemental Bill. NOAA has billions of dollars that it didn't just have a few years ago. As this is the case with so many other agencies, it's been a difficult adjustment for NOAA, as I know, to responsibly spend all of this money and exceedingly hard for us in Congress to determine how much of it has made it out the door. Any successful business knows exactly how much money it has before seeking a loan for more. NOAA should strive to do the same and detail specific spending plans for their billions of dollars before seeking additional increases. We need to shift from the we need more mindset to maximize to what we've been given. As I mentioned, our current economic outlook clearly tells us that current federal spending is not sustainable. I'm not placing the blame on NOAA, I want to be very clear, nor am I advocating for drastic cuts at the agency. I would like to be clear about that as well. Too many hardworking Americans rely on the data they provide on a daily basis. But an honest conversation is needed about funding priorities. As the budget request accurately describes, NOAA provides the environmental science, information, and services needed to protect the lives, lifestyles, and livelihoods for all Americans. Therefore, when making any budget decision, we should ask, does this program, activity, or funding demonstrably protect lives and property? I'm pleased to see that the budget includes manageable increases for the Office of Marine and Aviation Operations and the National Weather Service. These two offices are at the forefront of innovation and extreme weather prediction that can indeed save lives. My home state of Ohio has faced countless tornadoes this year, and because of early warning systems and accurate predictions, the loss of life has been minimal, thank God. Yet I am discouraged by the proposal to significantly decrease the budget of the Office of Oceanic and Atmospheric Research. This office is developing our next generation radar, supporting technology transfers to commercialize federal research, and funding the 16 cooperative institutes, which consist of 80 universities. Cutting funding in this office means cutting our investment in the future and accurate weather forecasting. Nonetheless, I remain optimistic about NOAA's future and working with you, Dr. Spinrad. I have no doubt that the administrator, in conversations of his own in developing this budget, I'm confident we can productively work through differences in opinion and work together to best advance NOAA's mission. I look forward to hearing from the administrator as we look to support NOAA's life-saving activities. 